Hey everybody, it's Kent. Tonight I'm boxing three huge boxes. Uh, this one is 60 pounds, this one's 55, and this one's 25 pounds. Nice and heavy. Um, I bought six lots of books from an auction house in Indianapolis. Um, they're all Jules Verne books. I think there is about 126-ish books, so should be really... Really exciting to see what we have. It was really, really expensive. I don't know if I'm gonna make hardly any money, but these will all be going up for auction on eBay. I am eBay seller animal at 52. Um, I don't know, they're really, really awesome. Jules Verne. Um, I think most of them are probably early 1900s. There might be a couple from the 1880s and 1890s. So yeah, this first box is 60 pounds of Jules Verne books. Excited to see what we got. These, um, it was an online auction uh, on Live Auctioneer with the website. Um, and I, I'm not a huge fan of buying stuff on Live Auctioneer. Um, from these different auction houses because it's such a pain in the butt to usually you get items paid and then a few days later you got to figure out shipping and then you got to pay shipping and usually shipping's kind of crazy. Um, plus, most of these online uh, auctions are charging 25 to 30 percent buyer's premium, um, so that tacked on hundreds of dollars to the purchase amount um, but they finally arrived so hopefully I can uh, work on getting these sold yeah this is legitimately 140 pounds worth uh, between three boxes 130 pounds worth of Jules Verne books so Pretty excited to see what we got. And you know, this this auction company did have some nice pictures up, um, showing off all the spines and the covers, but you never know. Internally, I'm sure some of them are in rough condition, but hopefully, hopefully most of them are in good condition. Alright, first we have Around the World. We have Facing the Flag and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That one looks kind of on the, on the rough side. Not horrible. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Nice sci-fi frontispiece on that one. Looks like only one illustration in that one. Uh, here we have Michael Strogoff. Not sure. Not 100% sure if that's how you say it. 1905, this one's illustrated. That's cool. And Claudius Bombardnak. Alright, well that bundle wasn't overly exciting. Let's see, maybe this one will be better. So yeah, I think um, almost all of these will be, I'll be auctioning off here in a couple weeks. I might uh, save some for the bookstore. Drop from the clouds. Dick Sand. That one's pretty nice. Dick Sand or a Captain at 15. Looks like it's illustrated. It should bring a few bucks. The Rack of the Franklin, that one's really nice condition and a really pretty binding on that one. Around the World in 80 Days. Another really nice copy. 
good. This makes me feel a little better. That first bundle was not too exciting. This one, um, probably not dated, but I would guess that's from the 1890s and pretty good condition. Ooh, this bundle, I, I feel is not going to be too exciting. That's okay. I think most of these will bring 10 to 20 bucks a piece. Um, and then hopefully some bring a lot more. And again, I might put a few here in the bookstore for my local customers. We got a tour of the world, another copy of Michael Strogoff. Two copies of Michael Strogoff. Hopefully I'm saying that wrong or correctly. Um, tour of the world, Michael Strogoff, Strogoff, and five weeks in a balloon. Again, these aren't too exciting, but I would guess they're from right around 1900. So not horrible for being 120 years old. Mysterious Island, Desert of Ice, Dick Sand, another Claudius Bombard, what is that, Claudius Bombardnak, and Texar's Revenge. I mean, some of the titles we all know, but some of them, unless you're a Jules Verne collector, probably never heard of. I'm sure I've sold quite a few of these over the years, but there's a nice binding on this one. The Adventures of Captain Hatteras. Hatteras. Another copy of Dick Sand. Stroke off. Another Dick Sand. Holy moly, I'm gonna have a lot of a lot of duplicate titles from the Earth to the Moon. That one matched uh, that one. And tour of the world in eighty days. Franklin, Mysterious Island, that one matches the other binding as well. I think there's a bunch of those, a bunch of these matching different series. Cascabal the Conjurer, don't think I've ever heard that title before. The Boss of the Show, let's see if there's any other illustrations. Nope, just a frontispiece in that one. Oh, the Mysterious Island. We got Abandoned and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Under the, lea under the sea, the secret of the island. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea, and Michael Strogoff. 
hope I'm not butchering that that title too bad. Of course, if I don't know how to say it, hopefully a bunch of you don't know how to say it as well. Hopefully I'm not upsetting all the serious Jules Verne collectors. 20,000 under the leagues under the sea to um from the moon from the earth to the moon from the earth to the moon Texar's revenge and 20,000 leagues under the sea uh from the earth to the moon again okay maybe I will be selling these over the months because um I don't know how many how many different copies of um, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea I can have up on eBay at any one time. All right, we got the Mysterious Island facing the flag, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and Michael Strogoff. All right, box number two. This one's not quite as big. On the bubble wrap. I think this is the only one that I bought individually. Yep. Tour of the world in 80 days. That one is pretty nice. That one was published in uh, 1880. Not exactly sure. It looks like the first edition would have been 1874. So it's pretty, pretty early for Jules Verne. Not sure if there's any. Oh, there are other illustrations. He climbed up in the mast. He astonished the crew. So again, uh, 88, um, 1880, Tour of the World in 80 Days. Nice binding, really nice condition. Illustrated, that one should do pretty well. That one um, is actually pretty exciting. Leagues of the Amazon. Got the Jules Verne Library, five weeks in a balloon. Let's see, I think there's a couple that match that one somewhere. Yep, here we go. Um, a Voyage Around the World. And then we have a bunch of these that match. The Begum's Fortune, The Green Ray, Around the World in 80 Days, Abandoned, and Gottfried Morgan. And A Floating City and the Blockade Runners.
Here we have another copy of Caesar Cascabal. Mm, junky little copy of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Captain Antifer, Tour of the World in 80 Days. Dick Sand. Mysterious Island. This looks like an early one. Eighteen seventy six. Very early. Mysterious Island. Pretty nice. There's a description on the front end paper. Let's see if there's any illustrations. Yep, there's one. Don't really know a ton about Jules Verne. I've sold a little bit of it in the past. Um, certainly never this much. Leagues and the Sea, Matthias Sandorf, Part One and Part Two, A California Mystery, Gottfried Morgan, Michael Strogoff. This looks like another early one, maybe from the 1770s. Mm, no date. Kind of looks like 1770s or 1780s. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And the Mysterious Island. Ooh, yikes. Not the greatest of condition, but... Oh. Last box. Really wasn't sure how exactly the auction house fit them in three boxes, but I guess they just used very large boxes. I think the max um, for shipping with the post office is 70 pounds, and that first one was um, 60 pounds. Buckets, there's a lot of books in here. I think these are um, in French. Yep, published in Paris.
right, from the Earth to the Moon, Mysterious Island, there's a whole bunch. Um, 800 Leagues on the Amazon, there's a whole bunch with this uh, hot air balloon on the spine by the A.L. Burt Company. There's a whole stack of these that match. Looks like they're in pretty good condition. Ooh, and this one even has, I think that's the same style, but with a dust jacket. Holy buckets. It's always such a pain when they uh, plastic wrap them like that. I guess it does a good job um, protecting them, but... Uh, from the Earth to the Moon, Tour of the World in 80 Days. Again, there's a bunch, I think, that um, have this style binding as well by Hearst and Company. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Facing the Flag. And a Tour of the World in 80 Days. Well, if you've made it this far into the video and you want to uh, fast forward through all of the slow uh, opening of these bags, um, fast forward to the end and I'll probably have them all lined up and make a little, add a little short clip onto the end showing off all the spines of the books and some of the covers. Or you could just sit here and watch. I don't know how exciting this video will be. Uh, Adventures of a Special Correspondent in Central Asia, Michael Strogoff, another French, Floating Island, and Facing the Flag. copy of Tour of the World in 80 Days. And the inside hinges are splitting, but otherwise pretty good condition. 1889. Another copy of Tour of the World in, 18, er, in 80 Days. That one's a little better. The Fur Country. Seventy degrees north of latitude. Looks like it's illustrated. Another tour of the world. In eight, uh, tour of the world in eighty days. Those should do all right. I think I had a, a nicer copy of Tour of the World in eighty days than those. Um, that style binding, and I think I got seventy-five bucks for it. One in a little worse condition might only bring 20, hopefully 30 or 40, but it might only bring 20. The Mysterious Island, um, Tour of the World in 80 Days, Tour of the World in eight, yeah, 80 Days, and English at the North Pole. That one looks like it's in really good condition. Again, these um, bindings and the paper of these books weren't the highest of quality, so it's tough to find them without the inside hinges splitting and the paper um, usually gets brittle. But those were pretty decent condition. French, from the earth to the moon, facing the flag, astounding adventures among the comets, Ast another astounding adventures among the comics, slightly different color bindings, gosh someone spent a ton of time collecting and putting together 
all of these books over the years. I think I, I bought, so I bought six lots from this auction and there was maybe 10 other lots as well. And then some individual Jules Verne books. One of the lots I really, really wanted had some um, really nice uh, 1880s Jules Verne. Um, I bid a thousand and then the other bidder bid 1100. So I would have had to be 1200. And then with the 30% buyer's fee, that would have knocked it up another 400 bucks plus shipping. So I had to let that one go. Um, 20,000 leagues under the sea. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Voyage around the world. Voyage around the world. Holy buckets. Okay, this might take me um, months to get all of these sold. I usually do 10 day auctions. They all start at 99 cents with no reserves. But I don't think it's probably not practical to put um, 15 copies of Around the World in 80 days up at one time. So I'm going to have to space it out. Michael Strogoff, 800 leagues on the Amazon. Dick Sand. 800 leagues on the Amazon and the Mysterious Island. And when you put all the matching linings together, they look quite nice. Island, Facing the Flag, Tour of the World in 80 Days with the dust jacket in really nice condition, very nice, 20,000 leagues under the sea and 800 leagues on the Amazon. Some nice matching ones. Secret of the Island, Abandoned, Abandoned, Secret of the Island, 20,000 Leagues of the Sea, and Drop from the Clouds. All right, last bundle. Underground City, Desert of Ice, Michael Strogoff, and a Tour of the World in 80 Days. Very nice. All right. Well, if you hold on for two seconds, I'm going to get these rearranged. Um, and I will be back in a minute to show you everything. All right, I'm back. I got them all sorted. Uh, they look so much nicer when you get them all lined up like that by publisher. Uh, some of them are only sorted by color since they don't exactly match, but figured I would show you everything we got. So yeah, almost all of these will be up for auction here probably in the next two months. I'm eBay seller Animal Vet 52 um, most of my book auctions start at 99 cents with no reserves. Get yourself some deals. Hopefully all you Jules Verne collectors um, do some bidding and buying. I really like that style binding. And some of those. Alright, well thanks so much for watching.